Hi, I'm Marina from Iceland Review and something big and long awaited happened today. So we are close to the eruption site. Behind me is Stora Skofek on the right side, on my right side at least. And on the other side over here is Silenkafet. And in between is the now, I believe, 3.4 kilometer long fissure that opened up uh, at around 12.46 p.m. this morning or noon, around noon basically. So the fissure is continuing to grow. Uh, we could also kind of see it ourselves since we arrived. Now it's approximately, it's like 3 p.m. And we've been here for around like half an hour and the fissure already grew quite significantly. It's reached beyond Ceiling Cafet and just a couple of minutes ago, the lava has already reached Krintavikevegur, the road to Krintavik, that has already been repaired and freed of lava numerous times. You might remember the shot where the car drives over the freshly made gravel road. So that's again, lava reached it, they need to fix it again. Um, yes, so the location is currently closed, only first responders and press are allowed. So if you're in Iceland, please do not try to go here. The eruption is in the same area as the three eruptions before, uh, in the Sund Nuka Gigaröth area. Um, and currently the fissure is about 3.4 kilometers long. As I already said, it, it's continuing to grow. Um, the lava fountain is quite massive. <laughs> Um, I haven't seen uh, an exact number how tall it is, but you can see that especially here on the south side, uh, it's quite, it's quite tall. Um, yeah, and in the beginning, you can also see the huge plume that is accumulating behind me. Uh, in the beginning, it was around 3.4 kilometers in height and it is actually set to reach the capital area tonight. So uh, people in Reykjavik should probably uh, keep their windows closed tonight, but we're gonna see. And there's also, it seems to be some moss fires going on over there uh, on the foot of Stora Skofet, uh, which we already had last August uh, in the last kind of more tourist eruption, July, August, a lot of moss fires on, going on back then. Um, yeah. Good news for travelers. The airport is still open and the uh, and Isavia the, um, has announced that uh, the eruption currently has no effect on the flight schedule going in and leaving from Keplavik airport. The lava flow still hasn't found its equilibrium or like balance yet. So there's still a lot coming out and the current flow rate is a thousand cubic meters per second. So that's quite a lot. And what usually happens with these eruptions is that it kind of slows down after it has found its balance. Um, so now uh, it's quite immense, but we can probably throughout the day see the, the flow rate go down a little bit. I mean, you can already see on the left side over there, the fountains are quite small, especially compared to all the way here uh, towards Silinga Fett on the right behind me. It's probably around 10 times in, in, in uh, height, the difference between over there and here. But uh, we need to wait for, for uh, certain numbers, how, how tall the lava fountains are for now. Okay, so I just saw that the lava fountain was about 50 meters in height earlier, uh, but now it has gotten a bit more strong. So I would estimate maybe 80 meters, but let's see, let's see what the Coast Guard uh, and the scientists will say about that. Um, so the thing is, information is always flowing in right now because this is a live and happening event. Um, so we're gonna see more and have more, more data uh, quite soon today. So thank you for tuning in and let's see what the day brings. Um, if the eruption will slowly fade out or just continue in gaining strength. Let's see.